Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well on this gloomy Tuesday. Um, this video is going to be five of the struggles I've had, I found worst about living in Slovakia. Um, I've just got back from town, I've had a nice coffee, I've done some shopping, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do this video because that video is going to take a while to edit. Now number one for me is definitely going to be the language. The language is really hard to learn and that's because the, um, the, like the vocabulary, the grammar, and like the phonetics are completely different to English. So you're gonna struggle. I mean, I'm finding it easier the more I, more I try and the more I practice, but it, it is still, it's quite tough to get your head around. Now, I understand a lot more than I can speak, and that's probably because I can't string a sentence together yet properly, unless it's something like, can I have a beer, or can I have a coffee, or something like that. But I mean, any worthwhile sentences I'm, I'm struggling to to put together at the moment so I am working hard on that and like I say in the video that I've put out before about the language by the end of the year I'll definitely be able to put a conversation together and actually speak to someone in Slovak so that's number one for me is the language now number two on my list is also it's it's quite a it's a different one for a lot of people but for me it's because there's no sea I grew up around the sea even in the UK, I used to go to the sea as much as I could. And in Slovakia, there's no sea. It's a landlocked country. So you, you're you pretty limited on the ocean, <laughs> ocean really, unless you want to go for a long drive. Now, that's not Slovakia's fault, and that's not anybody else's fault. I mean, I chose to move here, but that's one thing I'm finding hard about living here is there's the lack of an ocean. Now, I make up for that by going to the rivers and the lakes and everything as much as I can. And... Uh, chances are if anybody's struggling to find me like family wise they just got to go to the nearest body of water and the chances are I'll probably be there but yeah living without the ocean or the sea close by is something I'm finding quite tough and um, I do struggle with it a bit sometimes just the sound of the crashing waves or going to pick up shells or doing something silly like that or going for a nice swim in the salty water I really do miss now England's beaches and seas weren't much to celebrate over in my opinion anyway <coughs> excuse me coming from south africa we have lovely sandy beaches big waves and awesome temperature so i do i don't miss the the, the seas in england that much but i do miss the ocean in general so yeah the seas are going to be number two for me i miss the ocean i miss the sea i miss the sea breeze but such is life you've got to make sacrifices and there's so many other positives in Slovakia so it, it is swings and roundabouts but that's something I miss quite a bit now number three for me might wind some people up but the driving here people drive like maniacs here and I don't know whether it's the younger generation or just people in general but I've not since I've been driving here, it's been almost two years now, not a lot of people stick to the rules of the road. One thing Slovaks are really good at is not drinking and driving because it's really strict here. You can't have one drink or drive and drive. So that's a good thing. But as far as speeding and overtaking and cutting you off and driving like a maniac, wow, I'm struggling to get used to that. Now I might be <coughs> a bit more of a driving Miss Daisy kind of person who, who likes to take their time and you know be safe but i struggle with the driving another thing is the roads which also it ties into the driving now i don't know whether it's because we live in ruzhenburg area and it's quite a busy lorry road but the potholes are extremely bad in, in ruzhenburg and in our village and i mean oh i'm out of breath to the point where we've actually had punctures in our car on, on our tires from hitting a pothole and these potholes are deep i mean you can probably plant trees in some of them. Now again, everywhere has their issues, everywhere has bad roads in, in some areas, so I'm not sure it's the whole of Slovakia. The motorways, I have to say, and the main roads are generally really good. It's the, the town roads and the roads in the little villages that I found quite, quite extreme. Saying that, I grew up in South Africa and we had a lot of dirt roads, so I'm pretty f used to driving in bad roads, but yeah, that's, that's one thing I'm struggling with as well. Right, so number four for me has to be the winter. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the cold. My first winter here, I absolutely loved it because it was the f it was a, a novelty for me. I was like, wow, look at this snow. Oh my God, it's minus 18 today. Wow, this is amazing. Last winter, 
I hated it. I hated every second of it, primarily because I'm an outdoors kind of person. I've got to be outside every day, regardless of the weather. I've got to go out and feed the animals, check on the animals, make sure everything's okay. And that cold I struggled with. So winter for me is, is not great. And I find in Slovakia, it's to the extreme where summer ends, there's no autumn, winter just smacks you in the face and it is freezing. I mean, it is bitter cold. So winter for me is something that I am struggling with. Um, I, I'm sure I'll get used to it the more I adapt to it, and the more I prepare myself and buy better winter clothing. Because that's something I didn't really have when we first moved here, was proper gloves and proper winter jackets and boots. I seem to have been collecting more of that the longer we've lived here. But yeah, winter is something... And I mean, I don't know many people who do love winter. I mean, my nephew loves it. He hates the heat. And I'm not a huge fan of the extreme heat, but I do love the sun. And today, as you can see, is probably the first video I've been in, or second, that I'm actually not wearing a t-shirt. And number five, lastly on my list, is fresh produce. Now, I was looking online, and this seems to be something that's called the food apartheid, and it happens in Slovakia, where Slovakia doesn't seem to get the freshest of produce delivered. And I don't know whether it's because it's so far from the ocean, or what? Because Bratislava is so close to other um, major capital cities in different countries that I don't really get it. But the food, the pro, the not the. <laughs> Not the processed food so much, but the like the fresh produce. Whenever we go to like Kaufland or Billa or Lidl, um, anywhere really like that, the food, I've noticed the fresh produce is, is not as fresh as it could be. I mean, the apples, are a lot of the time the apples are like wrinkly or the oranges, the oranges are all, you can tell, you cut them open, there's no juice. And I'm not moaning because I mean, it is what it is, but that's just one thing I find really difficult because I love fresh fresh produce that's why we do a lot of gardening and I, gr I grow my own chickens and rabbits and stuff because I love fresh food and I know you are what you eat so it's it's not a huge thing I mean there are places if you go to like the bio shops and the like the organic places the food is a lot better there and I mean it, it, it's really nice but then you pay the premium price for it so it swings around about another thing I find is that the market if you go to somewhere like St Albans where we used to live in 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 the UK and they have the lovely Saturday or, or Wednesday farmers market there sometimes on a Sunday as well the uh, the markets tend to be a lot cheaper than the actual superstores like the, the Sainsbury's or the Tesco's and that as far as vegetables and fruit go uh, are concerned here I found it the other way around that the, the markets tend to be a lot well not a lot more expensive but slightly more overpriced than the superstores and that and I think that's probably because it is it's fresher it's a more it's it's a it's a nicer produce where we live in Liskova there's a guy who comes from Poland in his van he comes in the summertime with his van and he sells fruit and veg in our town square and, and that fruit and veg is amazing so we tend to get a lot of our fruit from there again though it's not as cheap as it would be in the sh in the shops so it is what it is um you're going to have these pro you're going to have problems wherever you live in the world you're going to find struggles that you need to either adapt to or you know shit or get off the pot you've got to deal with it or, or go because at the end of the day there's more ups than there is downs for me in Slovakia I love Slovakia and like I didn't want to put all these videos out of me saying how much I love Slovakia without giving you some of the points that I don't generally it's not that I don't like them it's just some things I find a bit difficult so I mean it doesn't matter where you're from in the world it doesn't matter what you do for a living you are always going to have a little bit of issues with the places you live and it doesn't matter like you you cannot tell me it doesn't matter where you're from you can't tell me that you do not have an issue with anything in your country or in your town or in your village there's always going to be a problem so those are just five of my minor problems they're not huge i mean it's nothing to really get concerned about and i hope i didn't offend anybody if i did offend anybody stick it down in the comments and let me know your thoughts if you can give me some tips on where to get the fresher foods or you have any advice on like or or theories on the driving issue then please let me know like i'm not i'm not i'm not a expert by any means and i'm not coming across i don't want to come across as if i'm slating or bad mouthing slovakia because there's so many more positives than there are negatives for me here and i've said that earlier but i love this place the people are awesome i found the people nothing but friendly um obviously it's like everywhere you live you'll always get one or two grumpy people but being grumpy doesn't mean you're not a nice person i mean i'm grumpy a lot of the time as well especially if i've had a bad night's sleep or an argument with the missus or something you know everyone has the right to be grumpy so yeah, Slovakia is just a normal place with awesome people 
and everywhere has their issues that's what i'm trying to say now i'm probably waffling a bit and i apologize for that uh like you uh, like i said i did have a couple coffees actually at that place i'm probably a bit coffee buzzed so i'll end it here have a good day guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed already please do and yeah let me know in the comments what you think give me some if you've got any um requests on where you want me to go in videos let me know and i'm gonna put all that together soon uh i've got use of the car this week for the rest of the week and next week so i'll be heading out on some missions anyway guys thanks for watching peace